What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. As you see him up in here, taking the photos for the site. This is the new zip up. Don't look at the feet. Don't look at the feet. Ah! <laughs> we got the new Army Green zip up with joggers. If you guys tried on the joggers we had last launch, same exact size and everything. So you order the same size you ordered last time. I'm wearing large top and bottom because I'm a large nigga. You look good in that money green. Yeah, yeah. Money green. Green for the money. Go for the honey. What else I got to say? Oh, yeah. Also, we're restocking the red, black, and navy blue joggers. So all three joggers restocked with zip-ups. And we're introducing the new money green. Army green women in the car. I think it's like more of a money green, right? Yeah. And we're launching... Martin Luther King Day, which is this Monday, 12 noon Central Time. We're going to do a 15% off code. The code is MLK15. Just type in MLK15, get 15% off. Guys, you don't want to miss out. All my homies out in LA fit, hey, you ain't got no fresh gear to rock to the expo. I suggest you jump on this shit Monday, 12 noon Central Time. 15% off code MLK15. Check it out, man. Check it out, man. So check me out. Fuck with it. Also, belts and shit. All the belts and all those things we're we'll be stocking in about two more weeks. And we actually and we got some more new things coming as well. Guys, this year is gonna be a great year for pump chasers. There's gonna be launches left and right. Bow, bow, bow. Every time you look around, something new gonna be coming out. Thank you guys for your support. So I'm gonna take these photos. And then we're going to go to the gym and train arms. Stay All right, guys. We're here at the gym. Got my laptop on me. I don't know if you can see the bag. About to just chill in the office for a minute. Get some pre-workout in me. I'm a little tired, so I'm going to take some pump and grind pre-workout. Now, let's just go ahead and do a half a scoop, man. Half a scoop should do me just fine. That's like 125. MG of caffeine, man. That should be just fine for some arms. Now, if it was back there or some shit... I'll probably do a full scoop. Link is in the description of Pump Chaser Sups. If you're in the UK or European, like, like European surrounding areas, you want to try Pump Chaser's uh, Sups, link is in the description. A-list nutrition. Uh, relatively new company. They fucking with Pump Chaser Sups. They got it on deck. If y'all want to try the products out and support, go fuck with that, man. If sales do pretty well and things like that, the support's looking good, you already know we're going to be doing meet and greets in the UK. It's just that, you know, I got people that watch me in the UK, but obviously US, huge support. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to tap into that overseas market. I'm still trying to get myself out there overseas. And if it's looking like people are fucking with me overseas, definitely will take that 10 12 hour flight or whatever and go shake some hands and kiss some babies out there. But anyway, man, thank you for everybody that support me, man. None of this would be possible without you, man. All right, man, we got TJ here rocking the new joggers, man. He's rocking the size medium. I rock the size large. Don't forget, all colors are restocking Monday, guys. About to train us some arms, guys. It's going down. Hey, man, y'all already know. Y'all looking for some 30 minute workout? This is not the channel for you. <laughs> High fucking volume. We're hitting the muscles from every angle to bring out that complete development and separation. If that's not something you're into, you know, hey, get the fuck out of here, okay? All right, homies at home, man. So to start off our arm workout, heavy compound movement. You know, isolation movements are great, but one thing I notice is people rely on them too much. Let me tell you something like this. You can do press down, press down, press downs. You may or may not get nice arms depending on your genetics. But it's pretty hard to close grip bench three plates and not have some thickness in your tries. It's pretty hard to do dips with three plates and not have thickness on your tries. Make sure you get a heavy pressing motion in. Sometimes I do close grip bench, sometimes I do dips. Today, 
We're gonna do dips. We got our chains on. Pumpstations.com. Get your dipping belts. You can do pull-ups and dips with this. We're gonna warm up first. All right. I can face the wave. Here we go. And also this real tip. A good tip, you guys. For years, I used to do my dips like this. And let me tell you, you can move some good weight like that and put on some sides. However, the motherfucking elbows, let me tell you, once I started slowing down the tempo, one, I feel it more in my tries, and two, no more fucking elbow pain. When the body talks to you, fucking listen. Same with my knees. I was, uh, you hear me complain back in the old days about my knees. I started going slower on the leg press, not just throwing it around. Guess what? I don't have any problems anymore. Slow the tempo down. Make sure the muscles are recruiting the, the weight. Make sure the stress stays on the muscle, not all on your joints and tendons. All right, so this is what I do. Now, I don't do this shit. Do, 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 no. I'm just talking about controlling it. You know, control it going down, control it going up. Just like that, control it. Make sweet love. And all the way up, really squeeze those tries. This is gonna throw slabs of muscle in your tries. We're gonna warm up with our body weight first. We're gonna make the majority of this workout video raw for you. I want you guys to feel like you're up in the gym with us watching this train. Like a live seminar. Let me know if you enjoyed that. Did you like it facing this way, baby? Yeah, me too. And when I'm doing it for chest, I have to face the other way and lean in. There we go. See the trash working, guys? One, one more time, then we're going to add weight. I already see the forearm veins coming around. Oh, yeah. See? One, two, three. Check it out, guys. Everything we do, three working sets. But Keep in mind, we're doing a lot of volume, a lot of angles. How I train. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a feeling for it. Alright. Now we're gonna add some weight. Let's keep it 8 to 12. Anything under 8 is too heavy, anything past 12 is too light. I'm not trying to sell y'all shit, but you know, look, wristbrashingpunchation.com. I mentioned like four things on my. On this video already. <laughs> Don't forget that 15% off code on Monday. Yeah, MLK. 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 Here we go. Three working sets. Those first two sets did not count. A warm up. Oh, we're warming up. Here we go. Look at it. Nice and controlled. Bam. Look, even though I'm going heavier, form don't change. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. My motherfucking triceps feel like they on fire. I like that shit. I controlled it. Now, if I would have just threw it around, I probably got a little more reps, but my elbows would have took some pounding too. You need to keep your belt on? Yeah, I'm going to sit down. Uh, Let's get fucking big! Wraps. Like I said, we're all doing three sets, but we're gonna push those sets to the max. Make every set count. Eight to twelve again? Yeah, because we're hitting those angles, guys. This is a great exercise, but it's only one angle. <laughs> you know, you gotta hit those angles.
for the day. You know what I mean? That felt pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you put some effort into it. Yeah, and that was a maximum effort. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't no fake effort? Yeah. Oh, man. That was a push, friend. I like that. What you want. That's how you grow. Let's get it, baby. When you see start pressing on your joggers, that's when you know it's a little heavy. There we go. There we go, man. Come on. Pretty much when he gets up, I go, you know. I mean, anybody can sit around for five minutes and hit a PR every time. You want to keep that muscles on the stress as long as you can. So, about a minute, maybe a minute and a half to get back at it. Check it out, guys. We're going to do a super set to start things off. We're going to do concentration curls, elbows high. Just stand away from the stack. How far? Stand away. Just far enough to where you can extend your arm and it won't touch the fucking stack. And what you do is curl. Oh, I love it. Don't stop here, though. Squat down if you're tall. Okay? Come down and you want to get like towards your head. That's the fullest contraction you can possibly get right here. All right, so we're going to start off with these to really connect with the biceps. To get that mind muscle connection, get some blood to the bicep, but most of all, like I said, this is the fullest contraction you can. I don't give a fuck if you can curl 100 pound dumbbells on each fucking hand. You will never fully contract the bicep to the max unless the shoulder is up. So this is the this is why it's called the concentration curl. You can really concentrate on the bicep. Good way to finish your workout. Good way to end your workout. Sometimes I do it at the end. Sometimes I do it at the very beginning. Just depending how I feel. All right. And we're gonna super set with press downs. You go first. You lead the way. Let's do ten reps each arm. Ten reps on the press down. All right. So yeah, ten, ten, ten. I'm a little taller. So I'm yeah. And like I said, he's taller than me, so he's squatting down. All right. Look at that shit, man. You can see the little fibers right into the insertion point getting fired. You would never get that with a dumbbell. I've been doing these for years, man. I love these. Yes, yeah. Love this movement. This is why angles is important, guys. Angles is important. Going to the gym, doing a few sets of fucking curls after your pool day. What y'all say? Different arm. After your pool day, what the fuck is that going to do? I mean, yeah, you want some nice, decent arms. Cool, but you want beautiful Perfect arms, many angles as possible. That way you look good from every angle. You stand to the front. Bam, bitch. Bam, bitch. Bicep from the back, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You want to look good from every angle. Hit those angles. High volume for the win, baby. All right, 10, 10. Then we're doing 10 on the press down. That's one set. You want to press down first? Yeah. Oh, shit. He going for the big motherfucker. Look at this shit, man. TJ, y'all, don't get it fucked up. TJ got some strength. I'm about to step it up. I thought I was doing something around here. All right. Try to strong point. I'm going to do the same thing, guys, but we're not going to bore you with the details. We're going <laughs> to fast forward. We already know what's going to happen. <laughs> All right? I don't got to squat down because I'm already short. So I just, <laughs> I just stand the fuck up. And then bring it here. All the way. Nice. Oh, straight 
right here. I got the stack. Handle us, sir. <clears throat> All right, guys, so check it out. Like I told you how I like to do dips sometimes or I do the close grip bench. Same with the uh, biceps. Sometimes I do barbell curl or I do twisting dumbbell curl. You have to do some type of supination motion. One of the motions of a bicep is to supinate. That pretty much means palms up. However, I favor the dumbbells a little more because yes, they both supinate. However, with the dumbbells, as you're coming up, you're twisting into the supinated position. That's gonna put more stress right as you twist. Gonna really give you that, uh, that extra uh, that butt crack up in there. You know what I'm saying? A little crack in your motherfucking arm. So, the other thing too, form. You hear a lot of motherfuckers say, stand straight, curl, don't cheat. Fuck all you motherfuckers. You can cheat with barbell curls. It's called cheat curls. Look it up. Arnold oh, talked about this. I even got a video talking about this on the POG channel. Cheat curls are great. Let me explain why. Because even if you use perfect form, meaning straight up, all the way up, all the way down, we have a thing called gravity, okay? As you're coming up, this is the most tension you're going to get from the bottom. Once you get from here up, there's really nothing. That's, that's more of an isometric contraction. You're not getting the full 100 pounds, whatever you got in your hands. Now with cables, I preach strict. Because with cables, as you're coming up, you're going to get that from top to bottom. So cables, super fucking strict. But dumbbells and barbells, look, if you get six reps, you want to get two more, you can cheat a little bit. Fuck all the motherfuckers saying you can't. I bet they got small arms. <laughs> all right? So we're going to do a superset. We're going to do uh, dumbbell curls, supersetting with uh, press downs. And what I like to do is keep it at 50. I go 50s, three set with 50, eight reps an arm. And yes, my form isn't perfect, but I'm feeling it. I'm exhausting my biceps. Then I knock out some cables for that extra, extra strict shit. All right, so let's go. You want to start first, TJ? You need the curls? Yeah. yeah. We're going to superset with reverse grip press downs. TJ's pretty fucking strong. There we go. I believe in going strict as you can for as long as you can. Then once it gets a little tough, cheat a few more reps. Why the fuck not? At the end of the day, we're not in here trying to look pretty. We're trying to exhaust our arms to make them grow. Okay? This is where I start cheating right here. Exactly. He got his strict shit in. Now he's going to cheat up a few more. A little swing. It may not be pretty. We're not filming a goddamn movie here. We're filming a workout. That's a big fucking difference. A lot of these motherfuckers on Instagram filming fucking movies. Right there, we filming workouts. Last one. It ain't gonna all be pretty, baby. <sighs> all right. All right. Here Come straight here. You want to try something? Uh huh. Reverse grip. Yep. Now this is pretty much like the press down we just did, except your palm is up. It's gonna hit the lateral head, but a slightly different angle. And if you do it right, what you, when you kick your hands back behind you a little bit, see how he's kicking his hands behind him? You're going to feel it a little on the higher part. Right on the upper part of that tricep, the lateral head, you're going to feel it. So I can do about two angles sometimes for lateral head. One pressing down, and then one my palm up pressing down. It's fucking stringer time. Stringer time. It's stringer time, man. Stringer time. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, guys. Whole ready stringers. Don't forget the 10 bucks, guys. Fuck with them, man. No cheating. Now, the gains, you got to work for them. <laughs> That's why we post some videos so we can help y'all guys out. You haven't had to cheat me on the year. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty lean right now. Smart. Damn. Here we go. Why am I wearing a belt? I know somebody's going to ask. Because when I lean back, I don't fuck my back up. Because you know I hurt my back back in March. <laughs> my back is better, though. I was front squatting three plates for the past four weeks, so I'm getting better. But why take any chances, huh? 
Here we go. Watch my form, guys. God damn! I'm looking kind of good. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Look. Look at my form. Form's not bad. One. Two. Nice. Three. Yeah. Look at that. Look at them biceps getting worked. Easily. Four. Easily getting worked. Good shit. Five. Six. Now we're going to start cheating. I'm going to get two more. There you go. Now look, look. I get it up, I cheat just a little bit. Yep. But look, I'm controlling oh, it yeah. down. You see that? Look, look. I cheat just a little bit, but I'm controlling it down. And eight. We're doing eight and all. Yep. All you motherfucking strict curve motherfuckers. Arms ain't even legal. Talk of shit. Look at that. Vascular legal arms. Sometimes you can cheat to win. Have a come over here. Look like Bane with them Bane. Bumping. They come here. Look at my shoulder. I'm rolling it back. See, it's not forward. I'm rolling it back. Putting my elbow to my side. Sticking my chest up. Not back here. Chest up. Let my tricep fan for itself. That's good. You see that? Damn, there you go. Six, six, seven. Look at this, all the way up to where my bicep is flexed. Full elbow flexion. And then we come back. None of this half shit you see. Put your ego at the door. Up, bam. Bam. Get that full stretch and squeeze. See, look at this. See that shit? Woo, look at that jiggle. Look at that jiggle. <laughs> look at that. Roll again. Shoulders back. Chest up, lean in it, and get me back. I'm giving too many damn secrets. Some people charge for this shit. I'll give it to you free. Come on, fuck with y'all. But I can't lift the weights for you, baby. You gotta do it yourself. All right, guys, so check out the next super set. Before I share it with you, I'm gonna let TJ jump it off. Before I share it with you, check this out. I'm gonna show you the form. If you got any of my programs, you might see uh, tricep extension leaning forward. The a typical tricep extension is when you're standing straight up, elbows up toward the ceiling, up. Same method, it's just you're laying forward. And it's much better on your lower back. So look, see my elbows, how they're flared? Tuck them in like this, like that. Not touching your ears, all right? Not flared, not touching your ears, just a little tuck, all right? Now look, and straight out, back. Elbow flexion with the biceps flex, back. Flex biceps, back. Flex biceps, all right? So here we go, we're on super set. Come over here, TJ. Yeah, we just did dumbbell curls with the twist, guys. Now we're gonna do um, hammer curls. Same method, just curl strict for as long as we can, but when shit gets real, go ahead and cheat it a little bit. You're still gonna make gains. Save the strict shit for the cables, trust me. As you see, he's banging them bitches, too. And once shit gets tough, go ahead and cheat out a few more. Why not? Uh, Look at that outer head pumping. Look at this outer head swelling the fuck up. I'm going to bang him out now. There we go. Now he's banging him out. There we go. We're just exhausting the arms. We're getting them nice and exhausted. We're getting them nice and prepped for the cables. The cables is where we're going to force all the blood we can into the uh, arms. Right now, we're using the free weights to exhaust the arms. All right? Don't worry. I'm going to teach you the guys. I'm going to give you the game. Just stay tuned. We're going to go over here. Tricep extension. See how Oh, shit. Going for the stack. Look at him. Okay. Man, he ain't fucking around. TJ came to put in that work today. Baby, in 10. 10. Control the negative. Control the negative. All right, we're going to go over here. Same shit TJ did. Lean forward. Tuck my elbows. And just make love. Oh, yeah, you got 12. All right, guys, well, check it out. You know how I told you, it's okay to cheat just a little bit on them dumbbells and barbells. 
When it comes to these cables, you better not fucking cheat. I want you to get every bit of that. Let me show you. Check this out. We're going to start off with uh, rope hammer curls. Check it out. Get it out the stack. Now see my shoulders? Roll them back. Tuck them down. See that? Now my arms are free. I'm nice and locked in. Shoulders are locked. Arm is locked. I lean back just a little bit. Look at my arms. Squeeze. Stretch. Squeeze. Stretch. No cheating. None of this. None of that. Even if you get tired, don't cheat. Maybe lighten the weight and get some more reps. Or take a 15 second break and get some more reps. But never cheat on cables. You want to get every bit. We're going to put blood into these fucking arms. Okay? Number 10, like you got a walnut right here. Or somebody's finger. And you want to smother it. That's how you pretend when you're doing this right here. So pretend you got something right here and you cracking that walnut. Check me out. All right? See? Crack that motherfucker! <laughs> you just did like 10 reps, bro. <laughs> All right? Fun fact, that's not even the weight I use. That's my demonstration weight. I'm probably going to do the whole stack. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they could keep up. <laughs> now, we come here, guys. There's a reason why I chose to do these last. This exercise is notoriously known for fucking up people's elbows. So I do it last, that way light weight feels heavy. All right? Come here, elbow behind me, elbow toward the ceiling, and just come up. Not locked out like this. You see this? We're not doing that. Just come by, by right here. This is enough. Don't do this. Okay, there's no tension here anyway. I can hold this position all night and day. There's tension and stress spot right here. So come down. See my biceps flexed? Mm -hmm. Tension. Stretch. Look how tension small these are looking. Right now, we're putting blood into these heads. Right into the outer head. We're forcing blood into this shit. Forcing trauma. There we go. 10 to 15 reps on that. All right, then we're gonna come straight here, 10 reps on. All right. When I was young, I used to do this shit for like 50, 60 pounds. Yep. But I started having elbow pain and I started looking at forms on you know bodybuilding sites and I was not alone. A lot of veteran bodybuilders a lot of intermediates like myself at the time were having the same issue. This exercise can potentially hurt the elbows, which is why I think cables is best. If you're going to do this shit free weighted, do it dead last. That way you can go light and it still gives you a challenge. So for an ordinary person, like 30 pounds is a lot. Too. Yeah. It's heavy. It's yeah. heavy in the load. Yeah, exactly. So just keep that in mind. All right? My turn. My turn! I want the stack, guys. Guys, don't be jealous now. I've been working out for a long time. Okay. Lean back a little bit. Lock my shoulders in. Free my arms. Now check my look at the biceps, guys. Tell your grandkids about these legendary biceps. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, stretch. Seven, eight, give me ten, nine, give me ten, bitch! Come on. Oh. So you can get loud as you want when it's, <laughs> when it's your shit. <laughs> Don't do that shit to playing fitness now. <laughs> there we go, nice and controlled. Don't throw it around. Keep it controlled the whole time. You can't control it. Don't even fuck with it. See how I'm smooth with it? Don't do this. Ah, ah. I'm gonna fuck your elbows up. Nice and smooth. Y'all know how when we start the workout, we did dips, right? There was no superset involved. So to finish off the arm workout, this is not gonna be a superset. This is gonna be straight three sets right here. Okay? CD cable curls. Again, no cheating. Keep it strict. All right? Same way. Get on here. Roll the shoulders back. Arms hanging freely. Keep your elbows tucked to your side. See my elbows? Bring them in. 
All right? Lean back just a little bit, not back here. Just a little gangster lean, like you're driving your car, you know what I mean? And here we go. See right here? This is not enough. This is not enough. All the way back. Okay? Stretch. All the way back. Stretch. All the way back. Stretch. And all the way back. Okay? 10 to 15 reps, three sets, and we out this bitch. Good money. He's forcing them motherfucking biceps to work, man. Here we go. My turn. Oh, yeah. Shoulders back, arms hang, and squeeze. You know, I'm not playing games, guys. Try to be modest, man. I can't do it, man. See, we already close enough. I couldn't feel nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like fucking with a cotton ball. <laughs> couldn't feel shit. I had to stop playing and go raw with you guys. <laughs> Here we go, back again. Roll my shoulders back, <laughs> arms. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm <laughs> pumped. <laughs> I was like, nah, I ain't feeling shit, man. Here we go. There we go, that's much better. Three, four, five, five more. <clears throat> ah! Come on. Good. All right, homies and homies, as you see, we just got done fucking shit all the way up. So don't forget, guys, new jogger um, and new zip up come out Monday, 12 noon Central Time. Pumpchasers.com. Use the holiday code MLK15 for 15% off. All joggers will be restocked. And don't forget, we'll be at the LA Fit Expo. Yes. Okay, LA Fit Expo. We're going to be there Saturday only from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We're coming as guests. They got us a special guest booth or whatever, so we'll be there from one to four. Come fuck with us. Come fuck with your brothers. Come check on us, all right? Also, my boy TJ got some shirts, man. Yeah, man. Support the homie. Follow him on Instagram. Let him know where you can find your shit. Do a little restock. THFitnessandApparel.com is the website. These are my shirts. Got my own little slogan on the back, which is live it confidently and dominate humbly. Got four colors. If you want to fuck with it, go ahead. Appreciate you guys. There it is, baby. Fuck with my boy. Follow him on Instagram. Hey, see, he got a lot of heart. <laughs> yeah, I gotta step it up a little bit, man. <laughs> I gotta step it up just a little bit. Just uh, he up. he was hanging with me like pal pal, rep for rep. So <laughs> when I get back in my groove, you know, y'all also know I plan on bulking pretty soon. I will update you on that pretty soon. And that's about it, man. We talked enough, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the workout video. Be looking out for the next one. Also, like I told y'all earlier, I like to alternate between exercises. So next time I train arms. I'll be sure to get some close grip bench in there for you guys. Instead of heavy hammer curls, I'll be sure to get the easy ball reverse curls. You know, I'll be sure to give you them angles, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't get to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches! Because the baby needs them diapers and Bruno needs those treats. <laughs> Peace.